Welcome back guys. So it's quite obvious from your view here that I have an issue. I have too many Neo Geo minis. I've tried to collect them all. Actually, I haven't because there's a lot more than this out there right now. Um, but I actually like to say SNK has the problem because they won't stop releasing these things. They won't give us what we actually want. You know, we wanted an AES, a mini AES that doesn't have that bilinear filtering like these do when you plug them into a, you know, HD monitor. Uh, we wanted a mini AES done right. But no, they said no. They said, no, we're just going to keep making these things. So that's what we're looking at today. Another limited edition Neo Geo Mini. Now, SNK has also put out that they're putting the Neo Geo Arcade Stick Pro out. They're going to be doing pre-orders pretty soon. I'm going to talk about some more information with that in a moment. Um, but that, from the information we've got so far, isn't exactly what we've been asking for either. Do they have to give us what we ask for? No, but it would be nice, right? So this edition right here is not without controversy. And that's what I want to talk about today and unbox it, take a look at it, all that good stuff. Now, I'm confused. I'm very confused with the Curico edition. But before we get into all that, let me point out that I did pre-order one of these from Amazon Japan. The pre-orders are currently going for over $200, like $210 before shipping. I canceled my pre-order because... A distribution company in the in Germany, they distribute worldwide. Uh, they hit me up and said, hey, this has already released in the, the UK and Europe. Would you like us to send you one for review? And I was like, okay, cool. Like, that's awesome. I've never received a Neo Geo product uh, for purpose of review before. So yeah, I'll take one since I was going to pay like $200 for one anyway. But then when I received this, I started questioning things because I was like, how did the UK get one first? And it's not even out in Japan yet. It comes out at the end of this month. But then the other thing is I noticed some other details that I'm not finding definitive answers from. Now, this one is for the European market, but originally they stated the Curaco edition was limited to 3,000 units, right? The other Samurai Showdown ones, these little frickers, they were limited to like 20,000. Not really limited, right? I mean, that's still a lot of suckers out there. This was supposed to be 3,000 units. Now, is there a difference here? Because, okay, we do have the little Peggy 16 logo on there. Uh, you know, so for the European market, they put this attention sticker on here. Um, then when you rotate to the back, everything's still in Japanese, but they put this sticker here with the UPC, the Peggy logo, and what it includes. Underneath the stickers, just the Japanese stuff. So this is a Japanese packaging. But then also... You take a look at this, and it states that there's 40 games included. From what I understood, there were supposed to be 48 games included. All the original Samurai Showdown editions had 40 games. This one being extremely limited was supposed to have 48. So my thought is, is that this is not a limited edition whatsoever, because when you look at that Jap the Amazon Japan listing, it shows two different pictures. It shows this one with this grayish silver trim, and then it shows another one with gold trim. And from what I'm hearing in the research I've done is that the gold trim one is actually the limited edition version that has 48 games on it. Um, and it comes with like the collector cards, like each of these Samurai Showdown ones comes with a collector card. The silver version of this comes with a silver card. The gold trimmed version comes with the gold card. So the gold one has 48 games. The silver one has 40 games. The silver one's for everybody but Japan in a sense, but it still shows the image on Japan. So is it that the gold ones are just like limited or random and you don't know if you're going to get it or is that just the first 3,000 of them they sell? I don't know. It's very confusing that SNK would do something like that. You made two of the same exact unit. One's minus games and the other isn't. This one on worldwide distribution is around $150 or 150 euros. Um, so it's a bit cheaper than buying it from Japan, but you're losing eight games. Everything else is the same. Unless I'm mistaken about some kind of detail here, I'm very confused with this. Is the limited run of these things, is it just BS? I mean, let, let's be honest. Is it just a scam? Because I, I don't really get it, but let's open this, this thing up, take a look. So uh, yeah, I just had to rant on some of that stuff real quick. So we do get a uh, little manual. It's a multi-language manual. It's the same one that's come with all of these things. We don't care about that. Uh, we get our sticker set, our marquee, and our panel sticker, which the panel sticker is just stupid. 
Like it doesn't even look good on these versions of the Neo Geo Mini. This is for the international, or not the international, the Asian release of the original. Looks fine on that, but doesn't look good on any of the others. So why bother? Then we get two different marquees. Let's focus on that. We get the Coraco one, which is actually pretty neat. That's the one that's going to go on my unit. Yeah, that's what I said. Um, and then this Samurai Showdown one that actually looks pretty cool. But the Kuroko one's the one I'll put on there. Uh, what else do we got? Oh, the little slip cover thingy. So if you saw my previous video that I did on the Yukio one, it came with like an art of fighting mat. Like you put this underneath the unit, like you stick it on there so it doesn't slip around. It's kind of stupid, but you know, whatever, right? Or maybe you put this on a table. I, I don't know. It's just a big sticker though. The whole thing, like behind this, it's just a big sticker. So it goes underneath so it doesn't move. Around. I don't know. That's, that's dumb. But why wouldn't it come with the Samurai Showdown one? This one came with the Metal Slug one, which I actually like better than the Art of Fighting one that I received. But still, missed opportunity. Now, this other thing is the collector. Oh, my God. You're supposed to get the freaking collector card for the edition that you got. I didn't get the Kuroko card. This, I thought it was supposed to come with the Kuroko card. This is silver edition. Really? Okay, I thought it was supposed to come with its own. Whatever, man. Like, that's that's stupid. I'm pretty sure I saw images where it shows that it comes with its actual unit. Like, the actual card of the unit. Like, all the other ones, too, of the Samurai Showdown ones. But whatever. Like, seriously, whatever. Let's just look at this. Peel off that. Um, so, here's the unit. It's like a, a translucent blackish gray. It actually looks slick. I think this is probably the best looking one. But it's the same as the other Samurai Showdown editions, essentially. Uh, let's look at one of the controllers. I'm not going to take it all out. So in this thing, we get our HDMI in there. The other one has the, uh, the power cable. No power brick, though. You don't get a power brick. You only get part of the stuff you need to actually use this. Yeah, that's what it is. Here's the controller. Now, there it is. You know, they, they haven't learned their lesson. They still release these things without clicky sticks. That's okay. Um, we've beaten that to death. Everybody has. I think you can get used to these controllers. They're actually a decent quality controller. It's just, this is an analog stick. You have to get used to this. It takes some time. If you've, if you're into Neo Geo stuff and you're accustomed to the other controllers, this is workable. It does work for these games. Just, you have to get used to it. The range of motion is different. That's the main thing. The buttons feel good. This one's translucent black with the cool buttons, all white uh, lettering. It looks like a nice little controller in my opinion. So let's just plug this stuff up and take a look at the user interface, see if anything has changed, which I highly doubt it. Um, it's probably gonna be the same as the other Samurai Showdown editions. So here we go. I'm gonna use my little Anker power brick um, and my Christmas edition power supply or power cable anyway. So let's go ahead and power that on. There that is. All right, let's, let's zoom up a little bit, why don't we? So there we go, let's take a look at the games. So 40 games, that's what we got. So the Samurai Showdowns, we got all six of the Samurai Showdowns. Samurai Showdown 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 5 Special. Some of the Art of Fightings, Fatal Furies, Fatal Fury 3, Fatal Fury Special, Garu Mark of the Wolves, awesome, Kazuna Encounter, a couple King of Fighters, Last Blade, World Heroes Perfect, Ninja Masters, Blue's Journey, Burning Fight. I'm not going to read everything here. Uh, Magician Lord. That's interesting. Metal Slug. One and two. Three. Ninja Commando. Sengoku three. That's a good game. Top Hunter. Really interesting game. Alpha Mission two. Blazing Star. Awesome. Twinkle St Star Sprites. League Bowling. Soccer Brawl. Super Sidekicks. Top Players Golf. Back to Samurai Showdown. 40 games. That's what we're getting on this thing. Now, the one thing I do want to talk about is playing, you know, the way that this is set up on this little screen here, focus back on there. It doesn't look bad when you play these games. Just being honest with you, it's when you plug this thing into your TV and you get that bilinear filtering, it looks 
pretty bad. Some people are fine with it, and I'm not knocking anybody who enjoys it that way. But they did have these faults with these systems, and they never changed it. They're just, you know, changing the aesthetic of the shell or maybe the user interface with some different artwork. This is the same user interface as the other Samurai Showdown editions, so I kind of find it odd. Um, this is a Japanese unit, even though I got this from the UK. All the games are in Japanese. Uh, I have it in English right now, but that's just for the user interface. The games are in Japanese, but a lot of the games do have where you can change the mode and change it to English. Uh, and that's cool, but not every game has that. A lot of the Samurai Showdowns do, but you don't really have to worry about that too much. These are arcade games, very little story going on. And if it does, you don't really need to worry about it too much. Uh, the one benefit with the Japanese version is you do get blood. You know, we want to play our Neo Geo games with blood. We also want to play with clicky sticks, but that, that ain't happening. But beside that, um, SNK has just announced that holy crap he got me that they are starting pre-orders for that neo geo arcade stick pro pre-orders start at the end of this week the 27th of september from what i understand it should be like 150 euros the company that sent me this review unit they are going to be selling that they have a lot of exclusive deals uh, with companies to distribute their products like they have like a retron hd2 from hyperkin that is actually pretty similar to this color uh, that they have exclusive distribution on, that kind of thing. Um, they work close with SNK for their products to distribute in Europe. So they're going to be doing pre-orders. SNK has stated that there will be U.S. pre-orders. I have no clue where. Um, but that stuff does go live at the end of this week. Now, we've talked a lot about that stick. I am going to get one. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to get one so you guys don't have to. Um, but that thing is supposed to have clicky sticks. And you can use it on one of these units if you so choose. Uh, we don't know the quality of the buttons. We don't know the quality of the stick. And the interesting thing is, yeah, they. I guess they've learned from everybody complaining about the bilinear filtering on this. Um, because supposedly that has been fixed with the 20 included bonus games on the Arcade Stick Pro. They're all fighting games. We've, I'll put a link in the description to my playlist on that stuff if you want to get caught, caught up to date on those things. Um... But that is going to be an option to use on these systems to have clicky sticks. Now, I mean, we wanted an AES Mini. I still want one. Uh, you know, I would trade all five of these Neo Geos that I have for one. You know what I mean? If it was an official product and it had non-bilinear filtering on automatically, I would get rid of all five of these just for one of those with a good selection of games. Um, but, you know, it's like they just want to keep producing you know these things maybe that arcade stick they'll make multiple versions of i don't know it just seems ridiculous like they're releasing accessories for that stick as well like covers to change the color uh button covers uh, different stickers like all sorts of weird things that you could use with the stick that's unnecessary they have different ball tops that look like little butt beads like anal beads like they're weird like what the hell is going on give us what we want what we asked for like, talk to me. I'll let you guys know, SNK, because you're not giving us what we want. You're just producing over and over again. Sure, you guys made some money. These little things were successful in that they made money off of them. Um, you know, they made the new Samurai Showdown for current-gen consoles, which is an awesome game, in my opinion. But, man, when it comes to these minis, I don't want to say this is exactly what we want. But what I do want to say before we go, because this video has gone on a little too long, is, yeah, this was sent to me for purpose of review, but initially I did have one pre-ordered. I canceled it when this was offered to me. Knowing what I know now, just digging into all this stuff, um, I was already on the fence about canceling my pre-order before I had heard about, you know, getting this. Um, would have I bought this anyway? My answer is no, not for $150 like this one costs, or I believe it might be a little less, or the over $200 for the gold edition that comes with an extra eight games. I just couldn't justify it. I would have canceled my pre-order anyway. Um, so no, I wouldn't have bought this unit. But there's a lot of collectors out there who do like this kind of stuff. And that is cool. It is a neat little unit. You know what to expect. They're all the same. Essentially, this has the best selection of games on it. The Christmas one anyway. But it looks kind of weird. That's why I never put the stickers on it. Because I didn't want reindeers and Santa Clauses all over it. But hey, it is what it is. 
So there we go. My little review for the fifth time. No more. We will take a look at the Neo Arcade Stick Pro when that comes out and anything else, but no more minis unless they put out an AES mini. So really do appreciate you guys. With that said, I will catch y'all next time. Thumb butt. Bye-byes. And boom. Bye.